Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it's another one of my exciting model haul videos. And it's not just models, it's other things too, and mail. So, thanks for coming back and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, stop the video right now, hit the subscription button, and come right back and check this stuff out. So, got all several shop cards in the mail. I'm going to show you those. I've seen this one going around. Plas Plastic Imagination Workshop. He likes to do sci-fi, big trucks, helicopters, and the cool uh, 29, I think is what that is. The 29 um, um, Ford, yeah. T-Bucket or something like that. My life. Plastic Imaginations Workshop. Go check his channel out. I'll have it in the description below. Thank you for the kind words on the back, by the way. I really appreciate it. This is going to go up on the, up above on the board of fame, um, sort of. All right. Next, Douglas at Douglas Model Garage Video sent me these cool pictures. They're shop cards. He, he, he had a video recently I watched. He had a bunch of different shop cards that he had put together and he just sent me a few some of his builds 442 I like 442's thanks for sending that one Douglas got a uh, oh man look at the Winnebago I gotta get one of those gotta get one um, it's not a model kit I don't think it's just a, a, a die cast or something like that and he's got the little square body Chevy Wrecker got a Jeep it's like almost a yep that's what it is it's a skyline on the next picture Skyline, got a car on the lift, a little garage scene over there. Pretty cool. Thanks, Douglas, for sending those. He also sent me something else. I'll get to that in a minute. But these shop cards are cool. This is, these are the, he's already sent me one before. And uh, they'll definitely go up. And talking about a guy who's already sent me one, here's another guy. Rick over at Heartbeat Model Shop sent me a, a new card. And he also has... A car, I mean, a shop card, and then he also has a card with Cletus on it. Let's see if you can see that. Cletus, styrene addict. But Rick is a great guy. I met him for the first time. Hold on, no, I didn't. I met him in uh, Acme. Oops. I met him in Acme, and we didn't get to talk much. Then I saw him at JaxCon, talked a little more. And a great guy, great builder too. Go check out Heartbeat Model Shop. By the way, Douglas Model Car, what was your channel called, Douglas? Douglas Model Car, Model Garage Videos. I'll have him in the description below, as well as Rick. And Rick, again, thanks for the kind words on the back and the new card. Appreciate it, man. My friend, I have a friend out in Arizona named David Carranza. David is so faithful. Which he's been slacking. David, you're slacking. I ain't got a letter until now. It's been a couple months, it seems like. I'm just playing. But David handwrites. Who who would know it? That somebody would actually handwrite letters. But David has faithfully written me letters for well over a year. And uh, he keeps up with them and uh, numbers them. And it just comments on my videos and things like that. David, keep these things coming. I appreciate it. You don't know... How much? When I see that envelope, I know it's from David Carranza. So you keep sending them, and I'll keep reading them. Thank you so much for that, David. And another, you, you've seen this one go around too, right? This guy here, Hobby Dude 007, and this awesome shop card that he made up. And where, where did you get pictures of such a nice car? Is what I want to know, Mark. Did you build that? <laughs> Mark actually built that. And um, he's a very meticulous builder. He probably wouldn't want to build next to me. But anyway, bonding plastic since 1963. Hence the hobby dude. Um, 007 bonding. Get it? <laughs> anyway, Mark, thank you for that card um, and the sticker. And this will definitely go up on the on the on the ledge of fame right up under my model kits and uh, you guys go check out mark bats and hobby dude 007 i'll link his channel in the description and you will not be uh 
will not be disappointed. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Thank you, Mark. All right, so getting back to Douglas. <clears throat> Douglas, I would say your last name, but I can't pronounce it. It's, it's Sin Sinzer or something like that. I'm sorry. He sent me, he sent me a, a, he messaged me, and he said, I got a couple books on us or some books I want to send you. And um, he said, I got some older ones, and I wanted you to, to check out the prices in them. This is a, so we've got a 97, 99, 93, and an 89. And I was flipping through this one, and I'm about to turn to a page. It's going to bring back a lot of memories for you guys. Um, look, it says $2 in the grocery store. So this, this probably came out, of, if that's the original sticker. Now that one looks like a yard sale sticker or something like that. Or a, a swap meet sticker. But that says grocery. Two bucks. 1989. So like page 29, I believe it is. Let's see. I saw something. I was like, oh man. I want to show this to you guys. Here it is. 28 and 29 so 1989 releases here tell me this these won't bring back some memories for you guys so starting off amt had the 32 ford phaeton i always thought that was ugly that one didn't bring back too many memories i'm getting there though turbo fire firebird uh gta that was a good looking car the the firebirds and all were good looking there's a snap ferrari f40 these uh, Corvette, Indy, the weird looking concepts. But then here we go. The Destroyer monster truck in the Thunderbolt 2. These things are hard to find. And the 70 Buick GSX. Chris Callen just sent me a picture of one of these on eBay for about 40 bucks. I think not including shipping um, for the 89. What a cool car. Wow. But anyway, if any of you guys see any of these floating around on any kind of like site or like ebay or anything shoot me a, a email or, or message me or something I, I i want i bid on one of the destroyers which is the same as the bigfoot truck it's just a different decals um but i want one of the destroyers or i take a thunderbolt i remember both of them as a kid okay there's your oh yeah there's the mustang super coverage jet mustang i think i've got that one maybe i don't and then here's the 69 corvette 429 uh, Kim over at C Kim's Custom Garage did a uh, uh, a video on kits that were mislabeled, and this is one of them. Uh, Chevy didn't make a 429. That's a Ford engine. As a matter of fact, this Super Cobra Jet, I believe that would have been a 428 there. But anyway, 69. But uh, 429 was a Ford engine, not a Chevy engine. It would have been a 427. And then we got the Anglia. Ain't that an Anglia? I think it is. The Anglia drive-in. Got the Volkswagen, the drive-in kit. Look at that. Six, 116th scale. Ravel Leader uh, funny car. And then down here, Sidewinder, two wheelies coupe. Um, some kind of land speed record. And then these are cool because I'm going to show you one of these. Not this exact one. But I've bid on this car before on eBay trying to get one of these. It's the Testers. Mercedes Benz 300. But anyway, isn't that cool? And uh, some of the other books had some prices. Wow, that was a good that was that was a good flip, but I don't think that's the right one. There, were, I was looking through, and, and like Douglas had mentioned, that the, the prices were. Oh man, check that out! Too stinking cool. Anyway, here we go. Model kits. AMT Ertl. 69 Olds 442. Right here. $7.59. I'll take 10. Wow. I, that kind of makes you sick to look at that, doesn't it? And then I thought, man, that brings back memories. But this is not the uh, IMC. Nobody would tackle that one on purpose again. Um, this is the uh, Ravel. Uh, Pro Modeler 48.4 convertible right there. All right next uh, Let me get this stuff out of my way if you could see my bench right now You'll be like how does he even work? I just got these in the mail today. You probably can't see them, but they're they're um, They're white letters for racing tires 
And for my uh, Pro Street, I'm going. There, this, this is I got some racing uh, race tire lettering for that. All right, um, here's a big disappointment. Just got this one in yesterday. Bought on eBay. eBay description said complete kit. Um, I get it, and it is not complete. has no chrome, has no wheels, has no grill, has no engine parts. Um, but I guess I have a spare parts truck for 53 Ford Flip Nose. It, this is the truck that shares the chassis with the uh, 57 Chevy. What's it? Spirit of 57. Shares the, ch the uh, chassis with that. Um, and I've got several of these trucks, but I didn't have this one with this box heart. And I'm really disappointed that I don't have the chrome. But anyway, that's how it goes. The guy did offer me another model kit, but I kind of feel bad for him. I don't think he realized that it was an accident. You know, accidents happen. So anyway, it, it, it'll it find use somewhere. But no supercharger, no valve covers, no nothing chrome. Nothing at all chrome. The wheels are cool too. But anyway, too bad, too sad. 53 Ford... All right, here's one that I've been wet wanting to get. Now, you'll say, that's weird. I just like these testers' kits. I think they're cool. This is Italeri. Made this one. 33 Cadillac Fleetwood. Look at that. V16. Yes, they had 16 cylinders under the hood of this sucker. Um, I'm trying to get a second one. I just have the hardest time building the only one that I have, but I want to build this kit. But there's there's another one floating on eBay, and uh, if I can ever manage it, I'll try to, to, to get it so I can have a, a second one so I can justify me building it. But I thought this was a really cool kit. I, I, I think that these are classic cars, especially since I got done building the Gangbusters. I just like the, the older cars. They're just cool. They're just really cool. Um, this is from 1985, so it's got some age to it. But look, these guys who built the, the kits for testers, they were builders, for sure. But anyway, V16. Wow, that is insane. It says it's got more than 167 injection molded plastic parts. I did open it up and look at it. it is, it's, got, it's a really nice kit. Really nice kit. All right, and the next one. This one's cool. Popcorn wagon. Hey, I, I challenge you guys to go start pricing these things. They are insane. There's one guy on eBay. He's got his up for 129 bucks. Granted, it hasn't sold for that. I offered him like half up, half that. He just rejected it. I think I offered him 65 bucks or something. That's not half, but anyway. Well, yeah, pretty close. And he was like, nope, decline offer. Um, my beautiful wife likes this kind of stuff she likes these themed kind of things and i thought well maybe she'd like the popcorn wagon although it would kill me to open this thing up but that's just how it is and actually i have a second one of these yes i have two popcorn wagons but to be honest with you i want it it's in let's see i wonder if i could do this Maybe I can. Okay, hold on. Let me let me let me try something really quick. I, I want to show you my, my in, in case you've not seen it. I'm going to turn this around, and I'm going to point it up here. This was not planned, by the way. And all oh, the lighting's terrible. Okay, I'm going to get it down. So here's here's a stack. You see those testers cars? Man, let me see if I can get them down because it's behind there. Yeah, this was un this was unrehearsed. Look at this darn stack of stuff. Whoa. Let me get this down, and then I want to show you. Hey, there's three turbine cars right there. Those are awesome. Why is it sticking? Looks like something's stuck here. What the heck? Oh, it's sitting on top of it. Okay, I gotta get these. Oh, man. Okay. Take this. You may bounce it on my nose. All right, take these down. Yeah, why am I doing this? You guys are probably like, what is he doing? Let me grab my step ladder. Hey, it's real life. I think you need to see this. Let me get my step ladder here. Okay. Here we go. It's I hate to hide anything behind other model kits, but I had to. So, let me turn this back around so we can see it in the light. Or in the proper lighting. Okay. So, I, I got this off of a website online. 
I was sworn to secrecy what this website was, but anyway, I told the guy I wouldn't tell. But it's this Super Value Kit. This I didn't just get this. Don't think I just got it, but I just want to show you. Super Value Pack. I'd never seen these before. The I had never in my life seen one, and I saw it, and I bought it. It's got an El Camino, a Corvette, and a popcorn wagon. And I got this whole thing uh, for, like, what I paid for just this. But anyway, very cool. Very cool. Um, just wanted to show you guys that real fast. To, to, I know this is bouncing around. I'm sorry. But that is my second popcorn wagon. It's not coming out of here. I have a hard enough time unwrapping a model kit. I couldn't imagine unwrapping this because it's got like the glue and the paint and everything, which is no good. You know what? That 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 still has liquid in it. Wow. Check it out. I could mix it up. But yeah. Very cool. So that's my second. That's my first popcorn wagon. Set this down. And this is my uh, second. And what I was saying is I, I'd, I'd sacrifice to let... Um, let Heather build this, but yeah, it's a cool kit. 120th scale, too. 120th scale, double superchargers, very cool. Okay, getting down to the last two. Nope, got something else I want to show you. So, Billy Bear, he's bear like bear drugs, but he says he's not any kin to them. <laughs> he messaged me the other day on Messenger and he said he wanted me to try this stuff. I'm like, yeah, definitely. So it's a paint remover that he says works really, really good. And he sent me two bottles of this stuff. Thanks, Billy. And uh, says the paint remover will not craze or warp the plastic, providing these instructions are followed. So follow the instructions. This stuff is called Scale Coat Paint. And it's Scale Coat 2 Wash Away Paint Remover S56. I was joking with him when I told him I received it. And I said... Thanks for sending it. And then I said, hold on. I've got to ruin a paint job to use this stuff. And, and we laughed. But um, yeah. So I don't know if you guys have tried this stuff. He got this from Riders Hobby Shop. I, I don't even remember where, where the address said that Billy lives. But anyway, Scale Coat 2 Wash Away Paint Remover. I, got, I can't wait to try it, but I don't want to ruin a paint job on purpose to do it. And here's a cool one. My first pyro kit, 132nd scale, but let me tell you what, pristine shape, and the plastic's off. Well, I think it, it, it didn't have tape, so pristine shape, easy to assemble plastic model kit, made in the USA and printed in the USA, but it's a Mercedes-Benz SS Tour, C350-100 is the kit number, and I saw it, and I was like, there's, um, there's the whole collection of them. And there's the uh, the date, 1966. And I got this thing, and it's so cool. I'm not going to open it. I'll do a box opening on it. I think it's a cool little kit. But it's a pyro. And I uh, heard that they weren't the best of quality. But, and I probably will never find out because, I, you know, I won't build it unless I had two, which I'm, I know I'm crazy. But anyway, thought that was the coolest little kit right here. And it's complete, too. It is complete. Nobody's ever touched it. And lastly... The oldest one of the, the purchase, this 25 Model T. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a 1962 edition of an AMT um, 25 Model T. I say AMT. Heck, I don't even see the darn... I, would, I think it's an AMT. I'm not even sure. Pretty sure it is. I might be looking right at it. Can't tell. And I, I want to do a box opening on this one too. Now this one's been shaking around for years. Let me look at the instructions real fast. Hold on. I don't want you. I'm not going to give any of this away. I'll do it right here on the edge so you can like almost see something. Yep. AMT. Oh man. I can't wait to show you guys this one. But anyway, how many of you guys have one of these? Isn't that the coolest box? Doesn't that just feel old the the way the color is doesn't it make you think of an old mansion with gaudy looking curtains that are um striped like that or something it's just that the model model t was driving up to i don't know i just love these old kits just love them 
just love them. I was looking to see if I saw any tape marks on it, but I don't see any tape. Apparently this one wasn't even taped. They just You could probably go in and just steal all the parts out of it. But anyway, that does it for, I'm trying, I'm making sure I'm not forgetting anybody. Shop cards are all accounted for. So, thank you guys for sending me those shop cards. I'll get those, uh, your, um, your channels listed. And, uh, dang, I keep messing with the camera. Thank you, um, Billy Bear for the, for the paint stripper. Um, yeah. Rick, Heartbeat Model Shop, Hobby Dude 007, Douglas Model Car Videos. Oh, missing one. Plastic Imagination Workshop. Let me get this up there. Plastic Imagination Workshop. So, guys, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm I'm on I'm almost to nine. Let's see. This this thing is really loose. And there comes a train outside. Um I'm 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 like almost 9400 subscribers i can't wait to hit 10,000. going to have a great giveaway or do something special uh for you guys so thank you for all you've done as far as getting me to where i'm at yep there it is there's the train perfect timing by the way right on just like clockwork but thanks guys for watching this hey if you hadn't already subscribed go hit the subscription button like this video um go check out the facebook group join if you haven't already hobby nut models Grab a kit, something you can paint one of these with. Not one of these, because they're mine. But anyway, grab a, grab some paint from Hobby Nut Models, some of that great MCW paint, and uh, supplies, kits, anything you need over there. Mark will take care of you. Um, also, Teespring store. Go grab yourself a T-shirt, coffee mug, sticker. And if you're not already a Patreon member, I encourage you to go join. We have, we have had a great time so far having these live streams together, and we'll be doing another one soon. So thank you guys for watching, and until the next video, we'll see you later. Bye.